David Schiller here, and today we're going to be talking about the number one cause of low thyroid in this country, and that is called a condition called Hashimoto's. I have discussed it a little bit in, in, in past video posts, but today I want to talk about how you go about taking care of it. And there is no cure for any autoimmune disease, whether it is Hashimoto's or celiac or lupus or rheumatoid arthritis or some forms of multiple sclerosis. There are no cures for these autoimmune processes in the body, but you do want to find a way to modulate that immune system so that it stops or stalls the destruction of whatever tissue that your immune system is now targeted. In the case of Hashimoto's, it's targeted the thyroid gland. And there's a, one of the reasons, main reasons why that that your immune system can start targeting the thyroid gland it could be due to some food sensitivities like gluten or dairy because the gluten actually looks very similar to thyroid tissue and the immune system mistakes mistakenly takes the thyroid for gluten so if you're not off gluten already you should be but one of the things that you want to start looking at and one of the things that we do in our office is we look at how your immune system is balanced and in the an autoimmune condition or in the immune system in general I should say there's two sides to the immune system. There's Th1 and Th2. Just to note, Th1 is the side of the immune system that goes after things to kill them. Th2 is the regulatory side. It's the things that help make antibodies, etc. And you need to find out which side you're tipped to. Now, there are blood tests that will look at the cytokines. A cytokine is a chemical that is produced by the immune system. A cytokine is, an, um, is a chemical made by immune cells to talk to other immune cells. And cytokines can actually be checked, and certain cytokines are related to Th1, and certain cytokines are related to Th2. A lot of times, though, those blood blood tests aren't very accurate, so we have to resort to other methods to figure out which side of the immune system you're tipped to. So what we do is we do what's called an immune quiz or immune challenge, where for three days we give you supplements that are Th1 dominant, and for another three days we give you supplements that are Th2 dominant, and we see how you react to each. And by doing that, we can ta start tailoring um, dietary concerns, we can start making lists of things you shouldn't and should be having to help support whichever side that you're dominant, uh, excuse me, not dominant on so we can support the weak side. So think of this Th1, Th2 balance like a, a teeter-totter, a seesaw act, and depending on which, you know, you have the, the bigger kid on this side and the skinny kid on this side, and as a result, we need to boost up uh, the imbalances or create a balance in the system so that we can get this immune system modulated. So in, in subsequent posts we're going to talk about how we do that, how we do it generally at first, but how we do it specifically later. And just know that this is the type of thing that you need to look at. If you have Hashimoto's, and again 70 to 90 percent of you do, then you need to look at the immune system as the primary, not the thyroid gland itself and replacing it with hormones. So just take that in consideration when you're looking for a practitioner who is is trying to take care of you, trying to make you feel better, that they recognize the, the impact that an autoimmune process has on the low thyroid, and that there are ways of figuring out which side you're dominant to that so you can start figuring yourself out and bring yourself onto a better road to health. So I'd like to thank you for watching and make it a great day.